Welcome back. Okay, so we just finished talking about children getting trained mm -hmm. to shine, yes. to soar. Mm -hmm. well, so let's go talk about children getting recognition for shining. For shining. Exactly. For doing, for doing their best. For doing their, their best. best. Well, Indomi Independence Day Award for Heroes of Nigeria. That's what we're talking about next. It's an award geared towards the recognition of children who have, against all odds, exhibited extraordinary acts of bravery in the face of danger, societal challenges which have sometimes even brought them injury. And Remember Aisha said something about having born with plastic spoons. Both born with plastic some spoons or some spoon. don't even have any yeah. spoon. But in the face of all of that, they still, they still exhibit that bravery. Now, the 2017 edition of the Indomie Day uh, Independence Day Award for Heroes is on. It will mark the 10th edition of the award. And to commemorate this, 10 heroic children will be rewarded. Okay. Well, there we have guests in the studio who would help us understand the processes around this. Tokbe Ashuaju is a group public relations and event manager. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. To Feel Foods. Oname Asagba is the product manager in Domi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Let me begin with who should we start with? The product manager or Mini Mini Mani more. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, so what do you think about uh what has the experience been like? I mean, this is the tenth edition, right? Yeah, so right. what has the experience been like? Experience has been uh very wonderful. Um most especially when you see where you actually pick uh, these kids from and uh, where we've been able to uh, guide them to you find out that I mean it's been a case of people starting from ground zero and you've been able as a brand we've been able to see them through life and you can see the change uh, for them and that's what actually excites us because I mean like just like you said it's not as if um, uh, the children who had been celebrated or recognized before uh, these are children who, uh, against all odds, have been able to do something good. And uh, for us as a brand, what we try to do is to celebrate them, recognize them, or of course give them uh, some monetary reward for this. Mm. So how do you pick these children? Who are they? You know, um, there's a whole lot of uh, research that goes into finding out who these kids are. Um, heroes are not people that they don't... They don't announce themselves before the event. Um, it, the event just comes upon them and then you see that act come up. So how do we pick these people? Uh, we have uh, research agencies uh, which we have uh, enacted to go out there and find them. Uh, apart from that, we also have opportunities for people to record their stories uh, for either through our Heroes of Nigeria uh, website or through our Facebook page. So we also receive some information which we have to validate. And, and also we, we talk to some security agencies to see what has happened in the past, who has demonstrated some activities. Uh, in all of this, we get very interesting stories which uh, become part of our, uh, our categories for, for consideration. Mm. Mm. What, what, tell us one of those stories. Oh, one that really baffled me, I saw that story and was about uh, Kali, a, a boy who, who ran out of the house and found that her sister was still in the house and the house was burning. Mm, and in the midst story. of that, he ran back into the house just to save the sister and sustained massive injuries. I mean, I, I saw him in person and I was like, no, this takes a lot of heart. And, and for a child mm. that is under 15, uh, you know that that is beyond the call of, uh, of, of duty. That's, that's heroic and that's brave. I think it might also interest you to see that um, we had uh, recently a boy of five years old. Uh, this can, uh, bomb blast that happened in Abuja. And what happened was that in the midst of pandemonium, this boy actually found a baby on the floor during the pandemonium. And of course, actually took this uh, young baby home. 
And of course, the parents were baffled and they were like, who wants the baby? And of course, after uh, several days, of course, the baby was traced back to them. Of course, they went to security. And you can imagine if that boy had not taken the baby home, a six-year-old boy doing that. So you can imagine what will have happened to the baby. Probably will have been stamped to death or something. And of course, you have series of stories like that. You have, because apart from the bravery acts, you also have series in terms of uh, the social bravery, of course, the physical bravery, and of course, you have the intellectual bravery. So it's not just people who risk uh, their lives alone that we're celebrating or we are actually recognizing now is break, broken down into categories and I'm sure as uh, the show goes by we'll probably talk about Let's it. talk about those categories. Yeah. Okay, those categories are actually uh, in three. In one, we have the physical bravery just like my colleague Onome had said. Uh, those who had done these physical uh, acts by say for instance um, Khalil Bala, the boy who went back into burning house. Of course you had Dimba Chair. This was the boy who uh, first got to the site of the DC-130 plane crash mm. several years ago that killed uh, military okay. officers. And of course, in the process, he was able to rescue uh, five of them. And of course, you had, apart from the physical bravery, of course, you have the social bravery. People have actually done several things against social ills early child marriage and I mean people who voluntarily will organize children in their community to teach them um, what life is about to train them and voluntarily do this I mean at that age who will say that a five-year-old a ten-year-old will be able to arrange the children in the community for this of course you also have the intellectual bravery intellectual bravery of course we all know we have people who I mean the boy that won last year uh, Daomi was able to put from scrap he was able to do uh, a generator he was he did a t radio station of course he did vacuum cleaners mm. and of course in all this you find out that i mean a boy who is barely uh, 